Alright, I find this question is a little bit unusual, so I decided to make a video to explain about this question. This question basically, the, uh, the question is like that. Determine the number of digits of the answer of 2 power of 321 multiplied 5 power of 324. So this question is uh, a bit unusual because the question doesn't want uh, you to know what is the answer. The answer, uh, the question basically want to know how many number of digits are your final answer. So in order to get number of digits, if in terms of two power of something, yeah, we cannot know. So for example, I ask you like, uh, for example, if I ask you like two power of six, yeah, because two power of six, it doesn't mean it has six digits. Because two power of six is basically 64, it only have two digits. So same thing to five power of something, it's very hard for us to like, estimate how many digits in terms of two and five. But if in terms of 10, it will be very easy. So, so for example, 10 power of 7, we know basically this is, this one is uh, 7 digits. So it's 10 power of 8, we know it's 8 digits. So for example, uh, no, actually it's something like this. 10 power of 2 is basically it's 3 digits. Because 10, 10 multiplied 2 is 100. So 100, you have 3 digits. So it's 10 power of 3, 10 power of 3 is basically uh, 1000. So you have four digits. That means three zero. So this one is basically you have eight digits, right? So that means if in terms of ten, so we can actually like determine like how many number of digits. Just just like plus one. You see, power of seven you plus one. Power of two you plus one. Power of three you plus one. Then you can guess how many number of digits you have. And in this question, luckily we have two and five. So we know two multiply five. Basically we will get ten. But now we have one small issue here, which is. Which is the um, the power is not the same. If power is not the same, we cannot multiply. For example, if we have two power of three multiply five square, we cannot multiply them straight away. Like like we cannot join them together. What I'm trying to say, we cannot join them together if they have different power. Okay, for example, two power of three is eight. This one is twenty five. We know the answer is two hundred. But indices actually tell us what? Indices tell us that if they have the same power, basically we can join them together. I mean we can multiply them directly, uh, ignore the power. Some, okay, something like this. Lah. Okay, let's say 2 power of 3, we know is 2 multiply 2 square. And then I multiply with 5 square. Do you see 2 square and 5 square basically is power of 2? If they, they are same power, so what you can do is you can multiply their number. 2 multiply 5, you get 10 square. Alright, then this is 2 multiply 100, you get 200. So you can realize that the answer basically is the same. Alright, so because of this idea, so I roughly get the idea on how to solve this question. So the first thing is I will make them I will make both of them have the same number of digits. Uh, I mean <laughs> I will make both of them have the same number of power. Right, so for example, this is 2 power of 3, 2, 1, and then I multiply with this one. If I want to have 3, 2, 1, I know this is 5 power of 3 um, plus 321. Because 321 plus 3, basically you get 3, 2, 4. Alright, and then indices basically tell us that uh, plus basically mean multiply. 5 power of 3, 2, 1. Okay, both of these have the same same power already. If you still find quite confused, so I will rearrange them for you. 5 power of 3 basically is 125. Multiply 2 power of 3, 2, 1. And multiply again uh, 5 power of 3, 2, 1. Then, I say same power basically, we can multiply them. Become 10 power of 3, 2, 1. Alright. Okay. Over here actually we can guess what is the number of digits already. But then I just want to change it into standard form because I find it a bit easier. Uh, 125 basically is 1.25 multiply 10 power of 2. Because this one multiply 100, basically you will get 125. Okay, and then I multiply 10 power of 3 to 1. Okay, then I will get 1.25 multiply. This is 10 power of 2 and 10 power of 3 to 1, right? So it's basically 10 power of 323. So therefore, if you ask me like how many digits this one can be, so since it's 10 power of 323, 
So you just plus one. So total you should have 324 digits. Right. So this kind of question is not really hard if you can understand, but I find it is a bit unusual uh, with the normal indices question we have. So I decided to make this video. I hope you can benefit from this video. Anyways, thanks for watching.